Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a Sephora haul. And yes, this is that third Sephora VIB sale haul that I was talking about. I just wanted to give myself some time because there was back to back to back to back Sephora content from me and from every other beauty channel. So I was like, all right, let me just wait for that to die down a little bit and then we'll add more Sephora. So I'm not gonna lie, this the haul is a little bit boring. I only picked up six things and they were replenishments and all of that. So to make it a little bit more exciting, I'm also going to be sharing with you the ColourPop value sets that I received. Those I did not purchase, but I figured they make great gifts and I noticed ColourPop was 30% off site wide. So those value sets have an even better value. So we're just combining them so that we can get a little bit more length and excitement. So anyways, if you wanna see what I picked up, then just keep watching. So I drug my sweet, sweet husband out with me. I believe this was the day before the last day of the Sephora sale so that I could go in store to see if there was anything that I was missing. Because shopping online, in my opinion, is a bit different experience than shopping in store. I'm an online gal, I'm antisocial. I'm a homebody, I love to be home. So typically, uh, I'm an online shopper, but it is a different experience to go into store, to be able to feel the product, look at it. So that's what I did, and I'm super happy I decided to do that. So the first thing that I picked up, you've already seen, I believe on Sunday I posted the best gift sets ever for this season. And this is when I picked up this guy, because that was in this video. So this is the Veluspa 12 day advent calendar. It's incredible, you guys. Now, I believe this this sold out super fast because I couldn't find it online, but they do have a lot of other Velospa candle sets that I'm going to recommend. But if you missed out on this one, I'm sorry because this one is extra awesome and festive because it's an advent calendar and it includes 12 fragrances. It's a Sephora exclusive. Velospa is my absolute favorite brand of candles. As I've grown older, I'm becoming more and more picky about my candles. I feel like everything gives me a headache now. I, I used to not be like that, but now now all of a sudden like the forever mood candles while I love the scents of them they give me terrible headaches I think it's I'm just in too small of a room to have these big candles so I love these because they are nice and small and <sighs> this smells delicious you guys but unfortunately I can't pull these out I'm not going to show you the candles because I just think this is a phenomenal gift so I'm going to give this to somebody as much as I want to keep it for myself because you like cannot find this set anymore. I love Felicia candles so much. This is how I know it's gonna make a good gift because I would love to receive this. If you're curious, my favorite candle brands are Velispa and then Nest, but I'm not a candle expert. I'm currently trying different candle brands to get a feeling of what I prefer. I love the price of the candles at Home Goods. I've been meaning to do some research on those Home Good ones because they're affordable, but this is just a good gift. I had to get this. I actually like put this in my very first Sephora haul for the sale, but I got another one just because I don't know what's going on with my skin. I <laughs> It's making me sad, but my mom is on this, so I ended up giving the one I hauled to my mom, and so I bought another one for myself. So this is the Ola Henriksen Dark Spot Toner. This is the only thing that cures my acne, and if it doesn't cure it and they keep showing up for whatever reason, this really does speed up the process of the acne scarring going away, and it's just my favorite toner of all time. It's a bit intense, so make sure if you're using this that you're using your sunscreen as well to protect your skin and also maybe I, I don't know in the beginning when I first started using this it was definitely way too harsh for my skin switch to every other day I've been using it less not every day because it is quite harsh every time I wear makeup I'll use this but if I'm not wearing makeup I let my skin rest a little bit but this is one of the most transformative skincare products that I've personally ever used so had to pick up that. Okay, I told you guys this one was boring. I picked up a backup of the Dior Backstage Airbrush Foundation. This is my all time favorite foundation. I love this for events. I love the way that it wears. It's just extremely pricey. It's the type of foundation where I cannot use it every day because of its spray format. You run out of it so fast, so it's a terrible value. 
like literally terrible, which is why I picked this up on sale. If you use it every day, it's not gonna last you very long, but the one I had was getting very, very low, and I need to always have one on hand, and I bought the wrong shade. So I've been using 300, which is pretty, pretty good. It's not my perfect shade, maybe like a touch dark, but it's fine. I picked up 2N, and this is 200, but it looks... It looks darker. I don't know. I think since I've purchased this one, they've repackaged them and changed the colors because this bottle has lasted me a long time, honestly. I've had it for a while. So I don't know if this is my shade, but I love this foundation. It's my favorite, so I hope it's the right shade. It looks like it would be. I'm typically too neutral in Dior, and this says too neutral. I don't know if they changed the colors. They at least renamed the shades to match with their other foundations, and I am 2N, so I hope this is right. Anyways, this is my favorite foundation. Looks flawless on the skin, seriously. Seriously. Not to be dramatic. This is the last boring item that I have. Patty Alonzo got me to buy this and I just picked it up at the checkout. This is from the Sephora collection, so it's pretty affordable. This is the Refresh Mini Daily Brush Cleansers. I happened to run low on the It Cosmetics ones that I was previously using, and I saw this at checkout. I remember Patty talked about it, so I picked up the little baby version of it. So basically, it's a spot cleaner. You don't want to use this, of course, to deep cleanse your brushes, but you know, if you're in between uses, you can just use this to spot clean to get the initial color off of it. And then I would recommend using something like this after every use I realistically I probably use something like this when the brush has a lot of color on it and I need to clean it off so whenever I see fit and then I do recommend washing your brushes like a deep clean once a month I recommend it I personally don't abide by that so you know <laughs> <laughs> but it's recommended. Okay, I did pick up two makeup products though. I mean, I guess the foundation was a makeup product, but these are like two new products. And this I forgot was on my list until I saw it in person. I'm telling you that experience of shopping in person is different. And Kate the Great Beauty was the person months ago who made me add this to my wish list. So this is from Fenty Beauty and this is the body sauce, body luminizing tint. I got mine in the shade Pearl Swirl. I saw Kate the Great demoing it when it first came out and it made her skin look beautiful so I figured you know since I'm on camera a lot maybe not this time of year when it's so cold but during like the warmer months I do have my decolletage showing a lot and this really evens out the skin and gives it such a beautiful glow let's swatch it I haven't even swatched this yet so it's ginormous this is the lightest shade and I feel like it runs kind of deep yeah right I feel like this could be used as a foundation. Am I wrong? Look at this glow that it gives the skin. And I do feel like it's going to even. There is coverage with it. So I will have to let you know. It looks interesting. If you've tried this product before, do you use it as foundation? Do you mix it into foundation? Or is it a body-only product? The finish of this just looked stunning. So I had to pick it up. Oh my goodness, you know what I forgot to mention? The background. I decorated my vanity I don't know, this isn't really a vanity, but I call it my vanity, with holiday decor, and I freaking love Christmas and holiday decorations. It just makes me feel happy. <laughs> I told you guys I hated Halloween, but Christmas? I'm a Christmas girl, I'm so I'm that extra with Christmas. I normally, oh gosh, here's an explanation of what he asked for, but I normally turn my desk so that I get the natural light. But with it getting dark super early, I just, I can't utilize the light that like I used to to film. So I'm just like, screw it. I'd rather have a Christmas background. So I'm thinking, unless the sun is really nice and beautiful, for the most part, this is gonna be my background for Vlogmas. Well, not really Vlogmas, I'm not gonna vlog, but when I post every day in December, it just feels right for me to have this, because most of this stuff is from Home Goods, by the way. Nobody asked for that, but there you go. I hope you like my background. <laughs> okay, and then the last makeup item that I picked up was from Makeup Forever, and, and this is a product that I've always had my eye on. I never necessarily had a reason to pick it up, but I was just having a lot of fun at Sephora. I had a gift card from returning some items, so it felt like free to me. <laughs> so this is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine, and if you aren't familiar with these pencils, they're basically supposed to be used for whatever the heck you want to use them for. Lips, eyes, for the most part I've seen people using these as lip liners. This color is my kind of lip liner color. It's a medium to deep kind of beige. It works perfect to 
to contour and shape the lips under any neutral lip color. It's a beautiful formula, you guys. It's like creamy, but you still have a lot of control with it. It's everything that I ask for in a lip pencil. So I kind of want to get more colors. This is an older product, but I have to see the lasting power because today is the first day that I'm trying it. I, I, I love this color. Okay, so that is all I picked up from Sephora. Again, a smaller haul, not too exciting. To elevate this video, I happened to see that ColourPop is 30% off site-wide, and they happened to send me their holiday value sets. So we're gonna talk about them because quite honestly, right now, with it being Black Friday, I'm like, gift, 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 thinking of whatever I can get my hands on at a good price to gift my friends and family. And I genuinely think that these ColourPop sets are awesome for the holidays. So let me get the box. Hold on. So these holiday sets did just launch. I noticed a few of them were already sold out. I'm lying, not a few. I noticed one of them already sold out, but... Also, please forgive this. You guys know I normally like to swatch things, but I'm probably not going to swatch most of this ColourPop stuff because I don't... It's a lot of stuff. So I'd rather give this stuff away <laughs> as opposed to keeping it so I don't want to swatch it. But let's take a look at all these sets. Like I said, these were sent to me. I didn't pick them up, but they're really fun and I'm happy that I have them. Now, I'm not sure how long this is going to last, uh, but ColourPop is 30% off site-wide. And let's go over these value sets here. So this is what they sent me. I don't see it on their value set page, but I'm just going to show you it. This is the ColourPop piece of cake lip duo it has a lip balm and a lip scrub oh excuse me this is by fourth ray anyways i'm not that excited about that but there's that there's this soul body sparkling mimosa mega mood melt which i believe is it's a bath bomb so this is actually an affordable place to pick up bath bombs who doesn't like a bath bomb and you can put them in like stocking stuffers or just add them to a gift stick it on top of a present this is not a value set either <laughs> but i love the face milks from fourth ray and this is the matcha face milk they say it's supposed to be energizing and moisturizing this one i'm actually keeping for myself because i love the face milks so is this pretty and green it's not green that's disappointing I love these, so I shall keep this one. Okay, and then we have another body product. Again, body products are universal. Who's not going to like them? But this is the Soul Body Sparkling Mimosa Body Polish and Cream Set. So I just like the packaging that these items come in. Again, I just feel like they make super good gifts. Uh, but let's get into the value sets. This is where the value is gonna be the best. You can give them as a whole set as a gift, which I think is awesome, or you can split them up amongst people, you know? Like, for example, this set of six quads, give like them to six different people or keep the two favorite for yourself, give the rest away. So they're great to split up and they're fabulous deals right now. So I guess I'll show you this one. So this is the Good For Hue set and it's a shadow palette vault of six different quads. So this is a $54 value. Without a sale, it is $49. But with the 30% off, you get six quads for $34.30. Let me show you what's in here. At the current moment, this is sold out, but ColourPop tends to come back in and out of stock, but sometimes then they don't. So <laughs> I don't know if this is going to actually be back in stock, but I'm gonna show you the quads that are in here. Like I said, I'm not swatching them. I'm gonna turn the light down just a little bit because I think you'll be able to see the color of the palette better this way because we have a lot. I love the packaging of these. This is just super cute. Ooh, I love this quad. So they come in acrylic packaging and this is the shade Silver Spoon. I like this one. And by the way, all of the packaging is really cute, kind of like butterfly themed. I'm a fan of it. If you have a friend who likes those warmer neutrals, hot chocolate is in here. This one is Plum and Get It. Peach Please. This one is really cute. I like this one for like the springtime, you know what I mean? Sorbet is in this one. These shimmers are really reflective. This is a really pretty nude one. This one is cream soda. So these are all six of the quads that come in this set. I don't know, people must have liked this one for it to be the only set that's currently sold out, but super cute, really happy with this. There are 
two other shadow sets that I have for you. One is going to be more colorful. One has a little bit more neutral tone. So let's start off with the If You Like It Shadow Vault. So the price on this, they say it's a $50 value. The full price is $48, so you only save $2. But with the 30% off, it's $33.60. You get five quints in here. So these are like kind of the copycat of the Natasha Denona ones. <laughs> I don't know I like these ones I think they're super cute and I love how they follow a true color story so this is one that I'm wearing right now this is on a wing I'm only wearing the mattes I used a Terra Moons shadow all over my lid but I used the three purple shades they were nice pretty easy to blend very good quality you really can't tell too much but it's the background shades in the look so I did use this one because I think it's really really pretty I love both of these sets equally honestly the palettes in here have such stunning color stories lots of peachy tones though I feel like I'm gonna give all the peachy toned ones away over the cocoon is also in this one this one has some really pretty warm berry tones I like this one a lot this one is all a flutter so we have some pinky peachier tones here this is fly away this one reminds me of the Tinkerbell palette that they came out with but I'm obsessed with this one I'm definitely keeping this one for myself I think it's a stunning green palette this one is also a fun one this is social butterfly don't these look for some reason really really high quality in the pan not swatching them yet but they look stunning anyways those are the quints in the if you like it set Seriously, I think the best thing that you can do is buy a set of these and then split them up. So the next shadow vault is the same format as the last one that I just showed you, but it's different colors. So the name of this one is Nude Notes. With this sale, this one is also going to be $33.60. And I didn't think I was going to be as impressed with this set, but the color stories really are super pretty. So this one is not my favorite because, again, it's still very, very peachy like a lot of the other colors I feel like are. But this is Duet right here. Then we have Harmony, which is some warmer oranges and copper shades. This one's like a good Thanksgiving palette. Oh, this is my kind of palette. These are the more neutral toned kind of taupey shades. This is Couplet right here. I love this one. That one looks stunning. This is a pretty kind of golden palette. This one is Rhapsody. This one is another one that's right up my alley. This We're good. We're okay. It just exploded. These are magnetic pans, so they came out easily and pop back in easily. This one is Poem. I really like Poem. I think Poem is beautiful, but those are all of the shadow sets. If you look on their sets, they have a lot of other eyeshadow palettes that are already existing that they have in the line. I'm not sure about the quads, but the quints, I believe, are all new shades that don't already exist. Could be wrong about that, but from what I collected when I talked about this on my live, you guys said that these were all new shades shades very happy with the shadow sets really great deal this is also a set that i would highly recommend i've picked these up the last two years uh, this is called the it's a dream cream gel liner vault and i can speak for the past that this has always sold out so if you want it i would get it so what it is it's their cream gel liner vault the full value of this is 70 dollars, and then they dropped it down to 40 and then with a the discount it is 28 dollars. you get a collection of different colored liners and a set like this comes a lot more in handy than you would think if you play a lot with colors and your makeup look. I, I highly recommend having a selection of kind of different colored eyeliners, not just black or brown, because this will really allow you to play with looks, have fun with them, use them as bases, um, and just popping in a color that matches your look in the waterline, like if you do a green look, to put this one or the yellow one in, completely amplifies the look. I'm not saying these are the best eyeliner pencils in the world. They're not, but they're very convenient, you know. I don't want to pay $20 for a yellow liner to put in my waterline, so that's why I like to stock up on these. So this one I'm keeping for myself. I love my colorful gel liners from ColourPop and you have a lot of different colors that you can see. Now these are not new colors from what I'm seeing. I feel like I have a few of these colors but there's a lot that I don't as well. So yeah, really happy with that one. Highly recommend these. And lastly, I have two sets of the Color Sticks Vault. These are very nice from what I've used but I'm not an expert 
in this formula, but if you like the idea of a colored eyeshadow stick, these are awesome. So they have two offerings. One is Vibrant Thing, which obviously is going to have the more vibrant colors here that you can see. And then the other one is in the bear, which is going to have more nude colors. Let me put them side by side for you. So these are a $48 value. The full price on these is $40, but with the sale, you get them for $28. So I'm just going to show you them. I've used these as eyeshadow bases before. That's typically how I like to use them, just underneath. Or I will put them in my waterline. Let me show you. So this is from the Vibrant set. This is Bittersweet. I do like to put these in the waterline. So they work fine there. And then you can also blend them out, use them as eyeshadow alone, or you can use them as an eyeshadow base. Look at this one. This is like a glittery blue. Ooh, again, not an expert on these, but they look really fun, especially if you like to play around a lot with creating different looks. It's always fun to mess around with the base. So in that case, I probably would recommend the Vibrant thing the most. I don't know. These look like really good nude colors, though. I'm going to have to play with this formula because I feel sad that I can't give you more insight, but... I don't use eye crowns too often if I'm being honest with myself, but I love the idea of them, you know? But anyways, that is actually all I have for today's haul and then a little example of the ColourPop value sets. I love value sets and gift sets for the holidays, so that's why I wanted to talk about these as well. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just talking about new makeup, sharing the newest purchases that I've had. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're in the US. Enjoy the holiday and thank you so much for being subscribed and supporting my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.